Talent Talk, and I am your host, Gary McLean. Uh, today, we have a guest who is an actress, international model, and fitness model. And we also have a special guest in Kara. Please join me in welcoming Nikki Middleton. Hi. Hi, Nikki. That's nice to nice have you on the show. Nice to see you face-to-face. -face. Yes. Off mm -hmm. of Facebook. Right? <laughs> Facebook friends, but no. <laughs> who never meet. Exactly. I've got so many of those. <laughs> so... Let's start off with uh, your acting career. We'll start with that, and okay. we'll, we'll kind of move into the modeling, I guess. Um, Since 2000, July 2010, that started. 2010. So it's been a while. Okay. We're in 2019 already. So. Well, that, you're like a year earlier than me, <laughs> <laughs> so that's not bad. Um, and how did it start? I was in, I'm business college graduate. Um, I have law background as well. So I started in the corporate world from 18 to about 34. Um, I ended as a bodily injury adjuster senior level. Recession hit, wiped me out. Um, went on EI for the first time in my life. Went back into insurance again, but unfortunately recession, they still hadn't recovered. And I was wiped out after three months again. So I was like, well, I have to pay mortgage and I do like to eat. So that's where I fell into all of a sudden, I fell into acting and modeling and it just kind of all tied in from there. Do you remember your first gig? Uh, Heartland, which Heartland. I think is everybody's first Alberta gig. It, it was mine as well, yes. That's how I said Good background. Uh, silent on camera, Okay. which was, is pretty, it's a step up from background, anybody who doesn't know anything about the industry. So it was a big deal, though. It's like, this is exciting. It's always exciting to be oh, on sure. set and learn new things. And, right. Yeah. Um, so have you taken any formal classes? Or? Formal classes, um, uh, voice acting classes, as well as some musical theater. I did uh, my first and only musical theater was... Um, an opera here in Calgary. So that was exciting as well because I wanted to see all different sides of it. Um, our local Shaw used to have a course too for free. You could go in on Saturdays and you'd be in front and behind the camera. So you actually got to learn how it is to do weather forecasting as well. Oh, okay. So that was really interesting. So I've seen a little bit different side of like every area of it. Other than the, the musical or the opera, uh, have you done a lot of other theater or? Uh, that was only theater. I was in a car crash, um, a severe one, and eight months later, um, I was a part-time singer as well with my career, but eight months later, my voice changed, so it always sounds like I have a cold, and I lost full range. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I gave up that side of things. And when did that accident happen? Uh, it would be about five years ago now. Okay. Yeah. And how long was the recovery on that? Uh, it's the voice will never come back. Right. Um, but uh, physically? Um, it should be minimum three and a half months. But because I'm uh, an athlete, I was about three and a half weeks. I was back in the gym again. Okay. So I recovered very quickly, which is good for me, but bad financially because then they don't want to pay out um and on the insurance side of things because you're obviously fine. Right. So you're better to actually take your three and a half months. Okay. Yeah. But Fair I'm point. not good with staying still. And I have osteoarthritis in my back. So staying um, with that type of arthritis, the more you move, the better off you are. Non-movement causes pain and issues for me. So okay. I was better to keep going. Okay. So yeah, the more healthy lifestyle you have, the quicker you heal. I had uh, um, whiplash, sprain and strain, level two. Level three is the worst. Okay. So I was level two with both of those. Wow. Um, so you, you're talking about the being an athlete. Um, what uh, What do you do athletically? I'm a competitive bodybuilder. Bodybuilder. Yeah. Okay. So I uh, compete in the UFE, it's called. Um, world championships. So the top athletes all across the world from Germany, Australia, etc. all meet up in Toronto and compete on stage. Okay. And when did you start doing that? Uh, 2010. Okay. So 
Yeah, yeah I quit. Really, yeah. I I quit smoking and couldn't handle myself, so I joined the gym, and from there I became a personal trainer. I was already modeling. Then I was like, oh, how can I tie in? What's fitness modeling about? So then I tied in the fitness modeling, and then went, oh, I need a step further. So then started competing. Okay. So it just all kind of fell in together because acting, modeling, fitness modeling all tie in together, and singing. They're all entertainment industry. They all kind of right. piece together, yeah. So international model, fitness model, is the fitness portion of it also international? It is, yes. Um, um, it's international on the competing side of things, and it's international on the, the modeling side of things. Okay. So I do anything from, um, they'll hire me to be like a ring card girl for... Um, WWE or UFC or any of those type of events. Um, they'll hire me to do anything magazine, swimsuit. Um, on the brand ambassador side, spokesmodel, promotional model side of things, they'll hi hire me for anything that's fitness related. Okay. Let's talk about Kara, actually. Okay. Who, who is Kara? <laughs> she just turned 10 years old. She's my fur baby. Um, in the last couple of years, they've started, um, the government has recognized emotional support animals. They are different than getting a full, um, at, like you see people who have service animals, full service animals, like seeing eye dogs, etc. There is a difference. She's not a full service animal, okay. but she does have a lot. There is a lot of legalities for her. Um, because I have anxiety issues and I have um, fibroids, which is non-cancerous tumors along my um, uterus that cause pain. And then when you're stressed, it causes more pain because any health issue, stress causes more pain. So um, I certified her as an emotional support animal so she can fly with me. Um, she comes to the dentist with me. The dentist's office loves her. So if I go for a teeth cleaning, I don't need her. And they're like, oh, why didn't you bring Kara? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm loved. <laughs> you were mentioning that you, you have anxiety and such. I don't know about you, but for me, auditions can be very stressful. Um, like, does that affect you at all? or? Um, <clears throat> no, because it's become the norm and I've found... Um, ways to get around that as well like I was saying lots of water lots of sleep um as well as uh, I'm in the gym five six times a week as well so that helps um I don't drink caffeine that helps uh I don't smoke that helps so things like that do you have any like current projects acting wise that you've been kind of involved with or have you been cast in anything recently? Uh, um, there is some upcoming projects coming up that um, due to what we call NDA, non-disclosure agreements, I can't discuss. And it happens on the model side as well. And that's the frustrating thing of our careers is because you can't, there's lots going on that you can't share. And I think sometimes people think Actors just say that to sound important and really nothing's going on or they look on your Facebook and they're like Well, nothing's really going on. So what are they talking about? Because a lot of times we can't discuss the project until it's come out yeah. um, They if we do discuss it in it and it leaks well, then uh, we're sued <laughs> yeah, hugely yeah. so um, there's a there's a few projects upcoming um, this year that will be quite exciting that um, I have speaking and lead roles in, but um, unfortunately, I can't discuss that. Going back to to your your international modeling and fitness modeling, um, as, as you stated, you do a lot of traveling. So, I, and you don't have to answer this if you don't want, but I'm assuming that uh, you know there's got to be a quite the financial attachment to that. And uh, does your work actually compensate you enough to to? Offset that? It's per project. Some projects will pay everything. So they pay my hotel, my food, they pay my um, flights, everything's paid. Other times, once I get there, they'll pay for everything. I pay my own flights. Um, with taxes, that's where you need to knew, know how your taxes are. As full time for modeling, it's 80% write offs, and for acting, it's 100% write offs. 
do you find the market for your your work right now again re- regardless whether it's the modeling or the acting do you find the market is more uh, substantial within Canada or outside Canada for you outside of Canada 98% definitely outside of Canada it is eh? yeah the problem here is that we like to think that we are there's lots of arrogance and don't get me wrong there's lots of talent but we like to feel like we're the acting hub or we're the modeling hub or we're the fitness hub. And Alberta truly is not. And oh, yeah. a lot of people don't want to agree with that. And they think that I'm spitting all over Alberta because, but, and I live here and I love it. And I work with a lot of talented people. That's not what I'm saying, but let's not, we're this little fish in a big pond. So let's not pretend that we're huge. Um, I need to go outside of Canada to make the money. I've actually had quite a few friends, obviously, and whether it be cast crew, that have made the transition from Calgary to Vancouver. Um, is that something you've considered for your, like the acting career specifically? Uh, no, because Vancouver, Toronto, Quebec are larger. Yes. But again, still outside of Canada is where everything's happening. Right. Yeah. So it is a big move for people to do Vancouver. It is a bigger step. But you have to look at the fact of how many people are doing the same thing in Vancouver and how large is Vancouver. Yeah, absolutely. So it's more beneficial, but it's not the ultimate. Since, like you said, 98% of your work is outside Canada, um, how does that work tax-wise? Like, are you taxed on the location you're going, like, doing the work? Again, it really depends. Okay. So uh, you're best to have a uh, U.S. bank account and a Canadian ba- bank account. And a lot of times pay it into the U.S. account. And then when our dollar um, comes up some, then I'll switch it into Canadian funds. So I look at it that way and watch what the transfer is because our dollar is so terrible. Crazy most right now, <laughs> what's, yeah. a, what's a diplomatic way for our dollar sucks? Yeah, it's crap. <laughs> That's what it is. It's yeah. correct. What he said. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's a little bit of everything. It's again, it's per gig. Okay. Well, I think we're out of time. So thanks I'd like everyone. To, yeah, I'd like to thank you very much for coming on the show. Appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me. It was and, fun. Uh, bringing Kara, who really seems to like uh, our camera guy Yuri. She does. Uh, <laughs> she was waving at him a few times. It's a Bijan Shih Tzu trait. They just like to do the whole weird wave thing. <laughs> so yes, thank you very much. I thanks. appreciate you coming on the show.